that old dog down in there? What's she looking for? Hey guys, me T2 again. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys my new truck, and I'm gonna like just do like an outside quick tour around the car because uh, it's really loud out here, and I'll get inside the truck and I'll do some more. I'll explain later when it's like not as loud. Like right now is a good time to show you the damage on the front end. Look at this. Look at that. Just look at him. So what happened was, this is a 2017. <clears throat> Somebody hit a deer and they smashed this bottom headlight and the bumper's all smashed in. All right, if you look at it from this angle, it looks real jacked up. But, yeah, the front grill here is smashed. This little piece that comes off. And that little yellow light, I guess it's fucked up. But, a pretty nice truck. I haven't washed it yet. As you can see, it's still dirty. GMC Sierra. That's pretty dirty in there. I'll get in there and clean that off. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's got these little step ups. If you want to get on the back tailgate. What the heck? The tailgate locks? Holy shit, I didn't even realize that. I'm discovering stuff, boys. I had to unlock the tailgate. There's some more pieces. There's that like light that came off of it. It's got a dura liner. It's got these little metal rings. And it's got these like when you put the tailgate down, you got the little cup holders. Pretty comfy for tailgating. Uh, whatever this is, I like that having that thing there, it's like a big metal rack. Uh, it does this weird noise. Whenever you open the passenger door, I think it's something right in there. It's rubbing. Uh, you just pop the hood. It's got a 5.3 in it. liquid on my hands where that come from engine looks pretty good as far as I can tell I don't know that much about engines but six cylinder um a lot of open space right in here I don't know if it's supposed to be like that I guess it's supposed to be like that makes it easier to work on I guess this looks like a place for a battery battery's over uh, huh. Where the fuck's the battery? <laughs> this is probably something I should figure out. Okay, the battery's over here. I guess. It's got like a cover on it? Never seen a battery like this. Uh, anyway, pretty dusty and air. I'll clean all this out eventually. Let's go inside. So, pretty dirty. When uh, the wreck happened in Indiana, I guess, it locked all the seat belts. So, I had to order this new seat belt retractor. I haven't put that in yet because I don't have one of these little star shaped bolt like uh, wrench things. There's one for the middle seat. And this basically needs a lot of detail work. Also the driver airbag deployed, so I had to cut that out. When you turn it on, the headlights come on automatically. This is all new to me. Um, Uh, the seat over here is pretty dirty. Uh, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, the airbag deploys. 
it looks like this. So they make a little thing that goes around the logo. It's like made to split apart. So it kind of splits open like this. And then your airbag shoots out at you. The horn still works. I don't want any of these buttons to do. I've never messed with it. Uh, right now it's got this service airbag light on, so you hit that. Steering assist is reduced. You hit it again and you got like a digital speedometer and your mileage. I don't know how these digital mileage things work because my friend's got a Hummer and his mileage never changes. So that doesn't seem like it would be legal. You also got uh, this thing here that automatically, it turns your auto lights coming on off. So I can hit that and my light just went off. And whenever I pull into the drive here, when I get close to the house, the lights come on. So I don't know if that's some kind of collision detection thing. Automatically coming on. So tell you that you're too close. This is for the vents. Oh, that's the lights. The brightness of the lights. See, I still don't know half the shit about this truck. All I did was buy like an air freshener for it at the dollar store. And I put that in there. It smells like a midnight electric storm or something like that. Uh, so my old car, I had a CD player, no digital readout of any kind. Everybody nowadays probably has like satellite radio and like MP3s and shit. This one you got like preset stations. He is uh, one of the best teammates I've ever had. But like, uh, and, uh, well, first I thought I, just the way I set a bunch of presets and then they all disappeared. I thought something was wrong with the radio. Turns out there's like five different levels of presets. So there's like actually like 25. So you use like these five and you hit over and then you got five more and you hit over. Yeah, five more. <laughs> it's like. So if I go to the very first one. This game is, is, is hard to do, man. Wait, where's and, my. And if you're building and. If I go to 104.1, I bought this thing at the dollar store that's like a uh, FM tuner. So now it should connect to my phone. I can play music out of my phone. Oh shit, I can't get a copyright infringement on YouTube. I forgot about that. Anyway, it's pretty dope. Uh, I can play like podcasts and shit. It's all new to me. Uh, probably shouldn't be showing you behind me too much. I don't want to show you just too much about where I live. Uh, I got this thing up here. This is like a sunglass holder. It's got my sunglasses up in there. And then I've got these little lights that turn on for each side. Pretty cool. This passenger airbag off light, I guess, will be on until the airbags are completely fixed. And then, oh, this is like if you want the lights to come on with the door open automatically, on all the time or off all the time. And then, uh, oh, you got mirrors behind this thing. Cool. On the side doors, you got like an extra little holder thingy, like underneath here to hide some stuff. If you like hiding stuff, you got the cup holders, you got the change holders, and other than that, it's pretty basic. Oh, there's like a scratch right there. I never noticed that. And I guess that was an airbag that goes. See, uh, my cousin ordered the airbags that goes up into these little side thingies. But I never even knew those existed, so they don't want me having them, so I don't care. I'll just let them keep those. Got a little off the price. I paid like 11000 for it, which I was expecting like a 2002 or three vehicle. I was looking at spending like two or 3000 but then uh, the engine light came on my car, check engine light, and uh, the coolant light kept coming on, so it's like, I don't know if these are like false positives or whatever, if my car is actually getting ready to go out on me. Because it's Saturn Ion, they say those like never go out and they last forever. But it's like 18 years old or something. This car is like an ancient. So I figured I might as well spend a little bit more. Spend like 11,000. Get another daily driver. In case, you know, if one of them messes up, I got another one as a backup. And I'm loving it. Life's good. Uh, I don't know what this traction control maybe uh oh yep i just turned the traction control off and on i don't know what that means this is a 
a light that goes into the bed. I don't know what that symbol means. You got the defrosters for each window. You got the recycled air. You got the AC. You got the different ways the air comes out. Uh, the media button. You hit that and it says no media available. I'm not sure if that's like for the auxiliary cord. Uh, there's something down here. I don't know what all this is for. Where does the aux cord go? I always heard about these aux cords. I don't know. Anyway, I got some uh, Armor All or STP, whatever. I like to try to clean up the dash a little bit. I need to clean up the windows and put the uh, that Rainix stuff on them so the rain just slides off. And I need to like clean up some of these little spaces. It's like dirty. I don't know what's really good for that, but what is this? Is this private info? Oh, this is the manual for the air or for the seat belt. This is the instructions. They didn't give me English instructions. It's like French and Spanish only. But there's YouTube videos for that. Oh yeah, I got a cell phone holder. That's new. Never had one of those before. This whole thing can just pull up, I guess. And it'd be pretty sick if I could get like a cell phone holder that goes on the mounted or a dash cam or like one of those police laptops that I could put here for some reason just just to have a laptop in my truck so it looks like I'm important when I got the plates I thought about getting like a military plate not like I was going to like uh what do you call that uh, fake honor or whatever what? dishonorable what is it called would you pretend to be in the military <laughs> I wasn't going to do one of those but like they got this one called civilian air patrol and i think i read like if you take all the tests to pilot a drone you can be you can join the civilian air patrol the civil air patrol or whatever the fuck that is it's like a military plate and it makes it look like you're important so maybe the police won't mess with you if they, if they pull you over or something like right now i'm riding around with no air but with no uh no airbags and no seat belts because my seat belts don't latch they're locked so until I get one of those weird wrenches with the star shapes, I can't fix my airbags. And my dog, I think, is taking a shit over there. Anyway, uh, so many things now that I can do. Now that I have a truck, I can, like, haul dead animals around. <laughs> I can, like, pick up roadkill. I can uh, uh, throw out, like, lumber and shit. Like, the reason I wanted a white truck, so, like, if you played Arma 2, you got the the camo right the 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 suburb what's it called the uh the suv camo it's like camouflage a white truck is like urban camouflage because like every contract company every like uh people that does construction they all have like fleet vehicles they're all like white gmc sierras or white colorados or white uh silverados that's all the trucks that they use. They all look the same. They're all hard to distinguish from each other. So it's like, you can get like these magnetic things that go on the side of the doors if you want to. Like different companies like around my area. I can just slap one of those on and I'm fucking invisible. I can like sit in a construction site and just like hang out there if I want to. It's like nobody knows if you belong there or not. I can get some like fake little, like a number thing that hangs off of your rearview mirror. So it looks like you've got a parking, uh, a parking permission or whatever to park somewhere <laughs> nobody's gonna question it because you're in a white truck <laughs> a white truck is the ultimate camouflage and i'm thinking about getting like one of those utility racks that goes on the back like you put lumber on top of it and that makes it even more camouflaged because <laughs> they're like oh this guy definitely he's some kind of a contractor he obviously works here and people just like leave you alone and you can like sneak in places if you want to like i just like having the option <laughs> of being able to just go wherever i want and nobody fuck with me and it's just cool. I like fucking fake military plates, contractor shit, a laptop, a dash cam. I have all this shit in here. It's gonna be dope. I just feel like I'd be like invisible to the world or something. I don't know. I like the idea of it. Uh, oh yeah, I got the, the glove box. I have my work. These are the fancy ones. These are like safety glasses for work that go over my glasses. I just got these. Amazon yesterday. Check that out. I'm thinking about getting a drone for Christmas because my mom's just going to give me cash. It's going to wherever I want. So I was thinking about 
getting like a drone I can like scout for deer if I get like a thermal camera I don't know how much those cost but probably crazy high but with a regular camera I could like chase down deer have it come back to me maybe have it like based in the bed of the truck like I'm going down the road and I launch a fucking drone off the back while I'm gone and it just follows me you program it to like stay a certain distance from the, the controller maybe and like I know you can hit a button and it just returns to the controller like it finds the controller like some of them are really smart like smart drones man I'm getting like high tech with this truck and uh, I can do stuff with my yard now I can do yard projects I can go off into random fields where I couldn't go before with the car my dog is just chilling out there and just having a good time look at her just laying there in the grass She's loving it. I don't know if you can see her that far away, but uh, that's about all I got to talk about. Uh, yeah, it's a fucking great truck. Can't believe I got it so cheap too. I was expecting like a 2003, like getting a 2017 for like 11,000. That seems like ridiculous for just a little front end damage where somebody hit a deer and they got a salvage rebuilt title on it. I mean, my cousin said, like, replacing a headlight is, like, $1,000. So, like, let's just not replace that headlight, because that's, like, three inches expansion. I'm not spending $1,000 on a headlight. I don't care. I mean, it does hurt the camouflage aspect a little bit if you got something that's a distinguishing characteristic, like a, a front-end collision. But, uh, ain't that big of a deal. It is harder to, like, look over your shoulder if you're changing lanes, because you got this bar right here in the way where your seatbelt's at. You can't really see that good. Maybe pick up like this. And it also feels like you're piloting a, a giant ship. Kind of like when you would play Battlestar Galactica and you get one of those big ships and it's just like, you got this big old giant boat. You're floating around. It's like, it's hard to tell like where, like getting in lines of parking spaces right and not hitting things because it's totally different from my car. I guess I just got to get used to it. But, uh, yeah. What does that button do? It looks like a little movie camera or something. Are the lights like flickering on off? It's not on reality, but in the camera, it looks like my lights are going crazy. Is that the frame rate issue or something? Is the LED coming in my... I don't know. The speakers, I feel like, could use a little work. Maybe Craft Chest knows a little something about that. Like, maybe their position. I mean, to add some subwoofers or something in the corners. I don't know. Look at this. You got this, and you got a clothes hanger. Look at that, and a little nipple, yeah. Adjustable headrest, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm trying to sell a GMC right now. I keep seeing other GMCs down the road, and I'm like, hey, GMC club. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's like a 20 minute video. It's gonna take forever to render.